Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Silent Core and oh my god, it has been a while. I do apologize for um such a long time since my last video. Um I've just been so busy. I probably will make a video uh sometime soon and explain what I've really been doing, but I've just been um yeah, just super busy with uh, work and um, some other stuff. Uh, um I guess I'll explain some in some other video. But um I kinda wanted to go through some of the updates that have happened in the last few days and uh just give my sort of thoughts on them. So let's start off with the one that um came out today, Squeal of Fortune update. Yep, and uh, we've also got a bonds update, um, just giving us some cool stats on uh, the impact on gold farming, and um, you know, bonds taking out gold farming, um, I don't know if it'll do it completely, like I don't know if every gold farmer will go, because I, I don't play EVA Online, but I heard when they introduced their sort of bonds thing, it didn't take out them all, but it, it kind of did have a big impact on them, and but it did take a while for it to, to kind of work. Um, because basically it kind of just, I guess in the long term it just decreases their profits and makes it in the end not really worth doing and more worth it to gold farm and say another game. Um, that's kind of like the idea behind them. So um, this just gives some um, pretty cool statistics on it and uh, some usage stats. So um, 3 million rune coins have been redeemed via bonds, um, which is pretty crazy, and also 13 billion GP sunk into the bonds. Uh, Retrade tax basically when you uh, buy a bond or if if you buy a bond from the GE or you get traded a bond It will be untradeable and you'll have to pay a tax to make it tradable again So that does work as a gold sink, which is kind of cool. It's one of the first gold sinks we've had I think um, And I think there are plans to bring another big gold sink into the game Which will be interesting and basically that'll make everybody's gold worth a lot more um, So everybody's items will be worth more a lot more and stuff like that and uh, there's also been quite a lot of tickets bought for RuneFest. I guess it's kind of cheap if you're buying a RuneFest ticket. I mean, it's like 35 bonds. You know, bonds are only like 6 mil each. I actually, I'll show you my bank actually. I actually went ahead and bought a whole load of bonds. Um, this is my bonds tab. I bought a whole load of them. Um, I think I started buying them at like 8 mil each, then 7 mil. And then they went down to 6 mil. Basically when they came out, everybody... I, I think everybody kind of thought they were going to be worth like 15 to 20 mil each. And they got released and they went straight down to like 7 six mil which is pretty cheap so I thought I might as well buy a few but it doesn't look like they're going up or not in the meantime anyway I think the problem is is you know there's a lot of people wanting to buy them with the real money for in-game GP but there's not a lot of demand for them in games so there's not a lot of people wanting to buy them to redeem them for members and um, let's face it you don't get very many spins for them on the Squeal of Fortune so it's not really worth it for that and then the rune coins it's kind of like a one-off thing that you're not going to do regularly so it's only really counting on the membership part of it and um I guess at the moment there's not such a big demand for that, I'm not really sure, but um, it does seem pretty ridiculously cheap uh, for a bond 6 mil, um, so I decided to just buy a few. Why not? I don't really plan on buying uh, any with real money, so I thought, yeah, I might as well just throw a little bit of GP at it. <laughs> so um, we've also got a new quest, the Birthright of the Dwarfs quest, and uh, with that brings a new pickaxe. This is actually going to be the new best pickaxe in the game. It's kind of like the ads for wood cutting, where um, it kind of burns the logs. I guess it kind of does the same um, for the mining skill. And the thing that kind of confused me a bit is because the ads and the rune axe, no, ads and dragon axe, sorry, they're, they have the same stats, but this is actually better than um, the uh, the dragon pickaxe. So um, if you stuck that in your tool belt, I guess that's a little bit sore on you. But um, there you go. And lastly we've got the behind the scenes, so we've got um, just a little heads up on what's expected this month. So that starts off with the Lumbridge Re Rebuildathon, and this is essentially the October holiday event. So there isn't going to be, sadly, um, a Halloween event this year. I did ask about that because I really did like the holiday events and the holiday costumes and stuff, and basically it's just so much developer time for an event that lasts two weeks um, that it's just not really worth them doing, so they're trying to tie in the I guess world events with the holiday events instead of having just a two week Halloween thing having something that relates to the lore so we've got the restoration of Lumbridge after the epic world event as you guys can see just look at Lumbridge it's such a mess you know you got <laughs> broken down walls over here a big hole in there like the shops half fall apart you know big black craters the place is a mess we need to tidy this place up so um we're gonna get some rewards for that we get um some XP and a moat and uh, a little costume which I guess is kind of cool. And coming down we've got an, a skilling update, so uh, some wood cutting update, well, I guess also um, associated with fire making and fletching with the new logs, so this is going to be the elder tree. I'll show you guys a quick concept art of that. And um, I guess that's kind of relating to the one of the 
um, the evil trees, I think that d and is called. So I got a couple of trees from that. Uh, it requires level 90 wood cutting and you can also make uh, some short bows and some shield bows with that. And also fire make them if you're level 90 fire making. And then there's the crystal tree at level 94. I'll show you a close up of that one. That one does actually look pretty cool. Um, I wonder if that's just going to be available in the elven lands. It does here say here that <coughs> both of these trees are going to act slightly different in game. And as you can see, this elder tree looks a lot like it, it kind of has that sort of stuff highlighted on it, and this one doesn't. And I guess this one kind of has bigger shoots than or bigger spikes than this one. So it's it's probably unlike other wood cutting because you can just chop until the trees have fallen, and then maybe these trees aren't going to fall as such. They're maybe going to just I don't know have a special thing, and uh, when you're cutting them, like you can still cut them when it goes down, but these the special these special parts are only going to be available for a certain amount of time on one tree, so you have to hunt around for that one tree to cut. Um, I guess that's what I'm assuming. I haven't asked anybody at work about it, so <laughs> I'm just kind of just interpreting what I think it's going to be. Um, so don't hold me to any of that. And lastly, we've got some level 90 ranger gear. And doesn't this picture look crazy? I'll show you guys a close-up. This picture looks insane. It looks like something out of um, X-Men or something. Wow. <laughs> looks a bit kind of crazy. But um, yeah, new level 90 range gear is going to be added as a Slayer monster drop between level 78 and level 95. You're going to be able to get the scales and then craft them into the actual um, armor, I guess. And lastly, we've got a new novice quest coming. And um, I think I may actually be playing through this next week, so um, I won't spoil that one for you guys. But I guess that's just going to be a little short quest. And lastly, we've got uh, the Golden Jin Chompa. And if I go over to my game screen, if you guys all um, go into the Solomon store, you can actually just buy this for free. Well, you buy it for free. Well, you get it for free. Um, I've got this picture here. You just head in there. It's featured on the front page, Golden Chinchompa. You just purchase it for zero rune coins. I mean, why not? It's free. And um, the way to get it is uh, hit F1. Come over to your pets tab. Thanks to uh, Crunchy for showing me how to do this. I really couldn't figure out how to get my Golden Chinchompa. But um, hit call pet. Start calling your pet. And I think I should have it. There we go. My nice big golden chomba. I was a little bit sad the baby didn't get through. I kind of like the really small ones. This thing kind of looks like a massive kangaroo or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, got my golden chomba, which is kind of cool. Um, there was a, I assume there's a lot of people ha unhappy about the fact that they exploded before. Um, not that many people did get theirs to explode because it just took. They weren't allowed around for long enough for them to explode. I've actually still got a lot of my food and um, those chronometers in the bank uh, over here. I guess I got the food, that didn't disappear weirdly, but um, yeah, that's kind of all the updates we've gone through, we've gone through the behind the scenes, gone through uh, the new quest, Wheel of Fortune, Bonds, and uh, that's about all we've got at the moment, so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, I'll try and make another one soon if I'm not too busy, and uh, yeah, have a good day guys, peace.